emphasizing even more is we've touched on a few times, but really doing some serious data collection. So uh, I'm going to list the comp oops, there we go, component types. And so uh, hull, engine, propeller, rudder, and what else do we use? Engine and propeller, that's our propulsion category. Hull, rudder, uh, we're gonna do weight. We've seen that weight's important. I wanna add number of cargo. And I'm gonna add boats, helicopters, comms, Let's, let's leave it at that. We might come back and improve it. And then what we're going to do is do attempt one. And let's see if we can do a quick freeze pane. Freeze one column. Excellent. It's going to be a good day. All right, so end of fleet. First time playing fleet, welcome. So happy that you're here. If you, you download it fleet, you don't have a fleet account yet. You have to click this first. Next screen, you put in the code Fleet Rocks 2018. Good to go. Enter a password, a username. Username hopefully will be the top of the leaderboard in no time. Uh, I'm going to minimize me so we can maximize fleet today. Let's get into it. Uh, so I'm logging in. It is updating and making sure I have all the latest exciting fleet files. We're going to do speed test only today, but there are four missions in the game. So we can do search and rescue, which is working with shipwrecks. Pretty cool. Saving five people in the water. We can do supply and logistics where we go to four different base or we go to four different maps and we deliver materials and we design an ocean going ship that can travel. I think that you usually the minimum distance is 11,000 uh, nautical miles, just quite some distance. Uh, and then we can do heavy seas operations, which is kind of like what we just saw, where we recover uh, surface drones that just surfaced. And then we can do combat practice, which sounds amazing, but not the focus of today. You'll have to play fleet yourself to explore the combat practice. So what we're going to do today is figure out what makes things go fast in fleet and ignore all wave conditions and bad seas and things like that the real drivers for why we need huge ships. So if you haven't seen this yet, this cut screen's amazing, but we have no time today. This is the last ship that we were working with. I'm going to try to resize the screen to see if I can make it a little bit better. Not quite. Let's see if we can get the toolbar to go away. Uh, toolbar settings, hide. Hide yourself. Keep blocking the beautiful buttons of fleet. Not acceptable. Excellent. All right, so we are going to save this ship. We're going to save it as... Oh, well, I want to save it twice just in case. We're going to save it here too. Saving, saving. So that way I can come back and use this ship anytime I want. But we're going to start off with this button. So if you're first time playing fleet, you add things here. You look at things that are on your ship here. You take it out and play. If you are in such a pass, such a rush to play, we click this button. So we're going to hit the ship button to see what's on here. For the hall, we have the cutter hall form. So I'm going to start taking notes. That's what today is about. Note taking how to use this truly as a simulator. Uh, propulsion. I've got medium speed diesel engine. That does not fa sound the fastest. Propeller. Baseline model. Look at all these words that mean average. Average. Baseline model. I'll just write baseline. That's good enough for now. Structure. Rudder. Balanced. In the middle. Our weight is 428,350 kilograms. And I'm going to put units in here so I don't have to write units next to all my numbers. Number of cargo containers, zero. That sounds like too few. Number of boats. Let's go look at what boat we have. 
So under advanced, we have boats and the RBSSC. Whoops. RBSSC. Helicopter, zero. Comms. We got some comms. Radar tower. So now we have a good description of our ship. So now we're going to go tech the, do the speed test seconds, max speed knots. And so th this is all about what the ship is, and this is data that we're going to track to see what makes it best. So let's take this out. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. Not horrible. Could look better. We're a little light. And you can even see, if you look back, we got a little bit of red showing ab above the waterline, but not in the back. So our weight isn't the best distributed. But we are only focused on... A need for speed today. I'm immediately hitting W. That maxes out my speed. I'm going to hit speed 2x. And actually, to make it co immediately consistent, I'm only going to aim for this buoy. I'm going to try to just hit the inside corner of it. And that's when I should be done. Actually, it sh it'll probably be right when my boat passes it. But regardless, that's the we're going to shoot for a buoy, not just the line today. So top speed so far, 19 knots. Doing pretty good. 19.6 knots. 19 point, oh, 20 knots. Still aiming for the buoy. 20.6 so far is the top. 20.7. 20.8. 20 20.8 looks like the winner so far. 20 point, oh, look at that. 21.1 for a second. And then back down, cruising into the end, 21.1, and I want to touch the buoy. Just like you're running in the end of the mile race, you want to go through the finish line. So two minutes and five seconds is 125 seconds, and 21.1 was my max speed. Not too shabby. And we're going to immediately run this again by going to missions and speed test. We're going to do something crazy, something we've never done before. Rescue boat immediately launched. So it took us five seconds to do that. And now we're going to take the rescue boat out. Try to aim for the exact same spot. See what the time is. 25.2. It's going to be a little bit harder for me to keep an eye on this speed because this ship does not like these seas. But 25.2 so far seems like the top speed. And what we'll do at the end is just hit the escape key because we're not doing the mission as intended, but we're using a simulator to test, which is always the number one thing when we get on fleet, that we're actually exploring physics and engineering and how to build the best ship for the, for the mission that we're doing at the moment. All right, almost there. This is quite not a straight line. Definitely not a very replicable trip. But if I'm doing the best I can, that's a replicable condition. And I am doing the best I can. I'm, I really should be trying to ride these waves a little bit more, paying more attention to the, the swells. But they kind of are coming at cross currents. They're coming from different directions. So it's not quite the easiest thing to anticipate because you can't anticipate both the ones it's getting a little better though maybe i'm learning i could learn today it's not a bad day to learn something whoa i talk too much need to focus or at least not brag or get halfway to a brag so 25.2 i think we're going to put down for our top speed and then we just got to touch the buoy so for a whole nother reason We've got a higher speed, but we came through it at 201. Uh, so I'm hitting escape. All right. 
So let's get that data down. Attempt to and the RB SSC. So it took us two minutes and one second, and now that's 121 seconds. And but we were going a lot faster. We just weren't going straight at all. Uh, we won't have any of this stuff. So I'm gonna see. Can we just gray it out? Maybe we gotta go to a little, little home. No, edit. No, no. Format. Format sounds good. How about? I don't want alternating colors. Uh, choo -choo 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 -choo. All right, we won't gray it out today. I'll gray it out later. But so I hit escape. And what that brings up is exit mission, which we're going to click. If I wanted to restart it, I could just do this again. Particularly if you're in the maneuverability test and you missed a buoy. Restart's a good idea. Uh, or return to game, but we do not want to do that. But what we did was we explored how fast the rescue boat is and how fast the ship is. So let's click on the rescue boat again. Ah, we got to go into add and look at its stats. Got to find the weight of this ship. Six thousand kilograms so that helps us understand that we can use division to find times as many so b6 divided by c6 the my ship that took two minutes and five seconds 125 seconds is 71 times as heavy as this 6,000 kilogram boat that we just took out pretty crazy difference but really showed up in the data all right so we are going to take you off you did good work oh no i deleted the whole ship but it's just this button and actually let's leave that ship on for one test let's see if we trade out the superstructure if we change our time And so we need to add that as a row. And I'm going to need to add back in the radar tower so everything's the same, right? So radar tower, now we're rolling. Oh, no. Am I I'm too light. So now we got to go back into our ballast tanks. And this is going to be unfortunate because this is where I might even fix the ship a little bit even though I just want to test whether or not the different houses make a difference. So there we, oops, 427,554. All right, while that fills up with water, let's get some data down. 427,554. Uh, we are doing the same here. And then we are doing the same here but we are going to add in deck house here, aft, and then I don't know what this one's called. We'll call it long temporarily, but let's see. We passed. That's good. So now we're ready to get out and do the speed test. We don't need to test the boat, so this is just going to be one hopefully quick test. Hit W right away. Speed 2x, making time go twice as fast. Aiming for the right buoy over and over again. Getting the data that we need to investigate whether the weight on top makes a big difference. Uh, if you are really trying to fine-tune your design and really trying to use scientific method, I don't have the time to do it with you today, but what, I, what you should do is do each test two or three times and then add up the data and divide it by the number of times you collected data and that'll give you a good average, a good number in between that kind of minimizes the noisiness of the waves and everything else that adds like uh, error or adds uh, incorrect little pieces to your data. So we got up to 20.6. That's interesting. Let's see time-wise. Unfortunately, we do have two variables we changed a little bit, but Looks like we made it better. Ah, uh, maybe not not dramatically, huh? 
So now we're at 123 seconds with a 20.6 max speed. Oh, that's not even faster. We were just more smooth. So maybe that the deck house doesn't make a big difference. So let's go back to the dry dock. We didn't click missions. We clicked dry dock to come back here. I need to find the name of this thing. I should know the name of my own superstructure. Deck house. That's why it's named too well. Superstructure. There we go. All right. So now let us. That was attempt three. Let's uh let's keep this design and try to keep almost everything the same, but I'm going to change the boat and change where the water is. So now I'm going to add some notes. So this is going to be our notes on ballast and maybe we'll have different types of notes on different types of systems all right so that's what we need to do so we're going to go into the ship structure ballast tanks and then we're going to take all the water out of the front put it in the back and we're going to go try to get the weight to 427 554 427,554 so we're truly using this as a simulator now to investigate kind of the weight distribution and how this affects, oop, not quite ready, oop, a little bit less, 543, 427,543, oh, darn it. All right, we're running it this way. This is good. It's good for testing this variable. I want to change the boat for a second, but we will not change the boat this time. 543. Alright, so we will get a new time and max speed. We're passing and oops, we want to do this. Big data collection day for us. Flooring it. Speed 2x in it. And so let's think about all the variables that we can change. We can make the weight as maximum as possible. See how that makes a change. I have not changed the engine yet, and we will not today. That is something for you to explore. I think that's the most fun, right? Seeing how the engine makes a big impact. There's another thing under propulsion, propellers. That's probably another huge variable for us to investigate. So what we want to do is change one variable at a time. So if we just think about those kind of changes... Uh, we probably already have another six or seven tests lined up. We can also start getting the ship more ready for a mission. So in search and rescue, we need a cargo called rescue equipment. If we really want to win, we also should bring a cargo called pump equipment. So we might want to start adding the rescue equipment on here. Maybe we decide that in that mission, we also want to really use the helicopters more than the boats. Need to make that switch and test that out. Ooh, it doesn't really make a difference, huh? Two minutes, four seconds, and I talk too much to see the, the top speed. Question mark. Two, no, can't fake data. Just got to say, not focused enough on that data yet. All right, so that wasn't a big deal. I, like I said, I'm going to leave uh, engine to you to investigate because that's just got to be so fun to see how, the, how you can make the perfect change. But what I am going to do is show, let's actually change the rudder. We've got multiple options here. We're going to take balanced out. And we're going to add in rudder low drag. That means that it turns the best. This means that it turns, that, this means that it goes fastest. This means it turns the best. Okay. And then this is kind of in between the two. So you can have a, one piece that's in the middle. So now we've got the same weight, but we've got the low drag rudder. So I'm going to copy all my data again. I'm going to do a better job paying attention to max speed, but we're going to add that we go low drag. And so this is what we're going to start giving out badges and celebrations on our social media for is great data, design discussions, and this like an idea of like 
you drawing up your either your testing plan or your ship plan and you can do that with technology right we can use uh, oops we got W we got speed 2x we're aiming for the buoy uh, you can do that with screenshots my Windows computer has a print screen button and when I'm on my Mac I use command 3 to get the whole screen uh, and so you could you don't have to draw with your hand if you don't want to you can have the computer and make a document and make uh, that kind of shows what you were doing and if you wanted to show your different designs with different data you could even make like a slideshow could, could play around this technology to really show how engineers prove their big designs so we are getting close to this buoy and so I'm going to put this data uh, on the web page, but I think the big idea is to give it your, give it a shot yourself. So we shaved off a few seconds there. So we went from two minutes and five seconds, or two minutes and four seconds. Oh man, I talked too much again, and to two minutes minus two seconds, but I didn't catch the speed again. We still got this here, but it looks faster, right? Uh, so let's add in, let's do one last thing for one full good test. We're going to add in the rescue equipment cargo. And we'll put one on front. I hit R to rotate it. And I'm going to put one pump equipment on back. And then I'm going to go into the water tank and take some weight out. And so I'm going to take it out of the front so I keep putting all the water in the back and the center. And I didn't use the word center in my data. If that seems like something that we should write down, definitely add that kind of detail to your notes. 427,573. Five seventy-three, two, and we do have this the same, and we still have a uh, water in the back, and we even had to take some out. You could add up the water too if you want it to. Um, it's it's listed inside the tank, so we are passing our last test. We are taking the speed test out. And we're going forward. All right. So now I'm paying good close attention to my knots. Just broke 10. That's good. Still aiming for this right buoy, so I'm doing the exact same test the, each time. We're rolling down the track. I kind of expect us not really to change our time too much. That's my hypothesis. But we'll see whether that's correct. So 20. We're up to 20. Got 20.6, 20.7. 20 point, 21.3, 24, I saw 21.4, 21.6, this is looking sharp, 21.8, 21.9, 22.8, 3, 6, 7, wow, this is going fast, 22.7. That's going to be our speed, and we came in three seconds short of two minutes, so 117 and 22.3. These differences aren't that big. I wish I could compare this, but I can't. Uh, but this is how you're going to keep investigating, okay? So just by changing the propeller, we sh we looks like we saved five or six seconds. So go ahead and keep making those adjustments and cr tracking this data. I'll put this data up on the discussion page in a little bit uh, and keep you in the loop as we get into the school year. Keep us in the loop as you have questions or problems. Let us know. Thanks so much and have a great Fleet Friday.